Hey guys, Crew Blind Wave back. I'm Calvin. Eric. Hey Eric. And we are back with Community once again. Last time on Community, we had vengeance for death. I yeah. I forget exactly what Pierce's reasons were for everything. Just uh, they were dicks he was, to him, so he, he was, was being left back, out, he so he being, made himself more he, isolated. He was a, yeah. he was a dick. He was a dick. To start with, a so dick, then dick, they the isolated pills. the dick. Yep. So then he redicked them. Yeah. And there was a dickening. Double dicked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then he pretended to be the, the father and got yeah. dicked in the face. Hello, Jeff. Yep. It's your father. <laughs> it's, like, it's like Kevin McAllister. Yeah. All alone. Credit card. You, you got, got it. it. Oh, don't come to the car. I gotta leave. Bye. <laughs> So uh, between last episode and this episode, we were watching off of Amazon. I should say, yep. we were watching on Netflix to begin with. Yep. Switched to Amazon so that yep. we wouldn't miss any episodes. Yep. And now Amazon doesn't have those anymore, so we're back Not on Netflix. Prime. Not on Prime. So we're back to Netflix. Yep. Uh, but we're watching episode 17. Netflix is labeling it as 16. Yeah. Because Netflix they removed out. episode 14. Mm-hmm. So, so, yeah. Just wanted to clear all that up. Clear as mud. That's mud? I'm, That's not very clear. I feel like I'm more confused with what you just said. So I, 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 I go into the bathroom with Tom, and, and uh, we both, uh, you know, take him out. And I say, uh, size more, try size less. <laughs> I want to go to rehab and compare penises with famous people. Rehab. Very glad to have you back. I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Chapter four. Hello! Oh, thanks, uh, Yes! Yeah. Man. I've been happy to see him before. Vice President Joe Biden mm -hmm. has been visiting community colleges across the country. <gasps> 5 p.m. today, he is stopping by Green. What? Yeah. All right. Is Biden going to be in this episode? It wouldn't surprise me. That explains the people I've noticed covertly surveilling the campus this week. What? Must be Secret Service. Oh, Abed. Will your reality ever come out on Blu-ray so we can enjoy it? We've been made. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that guy earlier. I mean, I could. Borrow my sister's Uncle Sam outfit. Uh oh. It's tailored for ladies. Uh oh. What else can I do on such short notice? Uh oh. Admit you don't have a sister. Oh well, damn. Okay, I didn't think about that one. Yeah. <laughs> it takes time, gasoline, matches. Mm, nice. <laughs> well, newsflash, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> you got me pegged. Democracy. What? Are we Ab mentions. <laughs> <laughs> Not <Noxious. laughs> I was waiting uh, for a third one or something. I just didn't know what it was gonna be. Comes in threes. <laughs> <laughs> the writing is so simple. It's so dumb. It's so funny. Oh. Notches. We tend to take democracy for granted. Oh my god. <laughs> Two legs. There they are. So Anyone who wants to be president? <laughs> what happened to that pile of campaign flyers I gave you? I hung them all up. Yeah. <laughs> Real nice. Garrett? Okay, Garrett. And Garrett? Garrett? <laughs> he, wanted president. he wanted ice cream. So what do we say, gang? Does he make it to the next round? By applause. What? Oh, we've got our first nominee. All right, the bar has been set. <laughs> that guy's so secret service. Don't kid a lawyer. Well, if I see one, I won't. Damn. Got him. We're not used to being noticed. That sounds a little sad. <laughs> clean. If I could issue a warning for this bootleg of the last airbender. Where were you a week ago? <laughs> Wait, where were you a week ago? To take it away so you didn't watch it? Yeah. Any <laughs> Annie Edison! Oh no, no one's clapping. Annie Edison. And She's in a light bulb. Oh! Why does he keep doing that? He's a dial. He's like an applause dial. I believe that humankind need not be governed. <laughs> I don't care. Ego. <laughs> Jeff Winger! Oh. Yeah. My name is Jeff. I'm no politician. You had to say that thing about a lawyer, Dad. Yeah. Now he's going to prove. That's just a popularity contest. I think 9-11 was bad. Mm. And freedom? Yeah. Well, I think that's just a little bit better. A little bit better than 9-11? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's this? GCTV. I'm They're so overexposed. <laughs> He's got night terrors and a rotary phone. Garrett. Age 66 <laughs> dick. 66 <laughs> dick. And Vicky. Yellow shirt, hat. Girl, you know, you gotta ask yourself. There was no information right on her. No. Nope. Do you just constantly have your own little side adventures? Yep. 
Me too. <laughs> he looks so sad. <laughs> Imperial Cogs. It's almost as if politics were a huge joke. Right? <laughs> okay. Look. Right? Man, this is so right. Yeah. This is sad. It's so depressing. I'm going to crush you. Pierce, stop that. I'm going to eat your brains, Vicky. I'm going to slurp them right out of that melon you call ahead. He's getting in their head. You freak people out, you know that? You look weird. Because of your overbite. Let's just get started. Welcome to the Man, it's funny to hate Pierce. Oh, yeah. The black mold will be removed from the east stairwell. That's good. The assailant, known only as the ass crack bandit, will be brought to justice. The ass crack bandit. And I will balance. Maria, who's a beautiful Latina, born in Nicaragua, working in the cafeteria. Yeah. What will I do? Cafeteria. cafeteria. <laughs> and I always found the distinction between duck and goose to be very arbitrary. Mm. Couldn't you just pick the sixth kid every time? That's what I would have done. I went with four. Jeez, get yeah, they're falling in love. love. My platform will be one high enough to push Vicky off to her death. Why is he just targeting her? I was only here to get back at her for not lending me a pencil. What? <laughs> so petty. <laughs> no matter what you're told, we have to clean the mold. Oh, uh, rhymes. No, no matter, matter what you're told, told we, we have, have to clean, clean the mold. mold. Come yeah, on. no matter what. This is interesting. The campus is almost evenly divided. Now keep in mind, the margin of error on this thing is about 98%. Could be higher. We don't even know- Margin of error is 98%? Can I get an apple juice, please? Freshly squeezed this time, or so help me God, Maurice. Yeah, yeah. Abed, those guys in the suits are trashing your dorm room real bad, bro. <laughs> Who's this guy? It's his roommate. Hey, trash this place. I assume. No, you're alone alone in the room. This was a random spot check. Do you like me? That's not really relevant. That's close enough. Are you sure? <laughs> what does it smell like nice soap? What are we doing? <laughs> She's never been seen before. I'm sorry you weren't a more obvious potential threat to the country. I think it's been more time together. Mm -hmm. Is there a really weird romance story happening in the background here yes. that we're doing? We'll Is that what's gonna happen? I'm the only one up here who's trying to get something done. And you deserve. Magnus, you back there just dancing. I fear a political career will shine a negative light on my drug dealing. Thank you. A negative Wait. light on the drug dealing. <laughs> what? What's your favorite color? Mine's a three-way tie. Red, white, and blue. Magnitude, response. I think you know, Dean. I think we all pop, know. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. It's not a color. <laughs> I set him up. Jeff Winger's 1997 audition tape for MTV's The Real World. What? what? Let's just roll it. Thanks. Negative ads. Hey, wow. Smear. Well, I guess it would be nice if I could be on MTV. Who do you want shaking Joe Biden's hand at 5 p.m.? At 5 p.m.? <laughs> Jeff, 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 you gotta have Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. <laughs> she destroyed him. It's the political showdown of the century. Leonard. Pop, pop. Oh, my God. Pop, pop. Oh, my God. Pop, pop. You were right the whole time. I just couldn't admit it until I saw you running away crying. Yay. I care what you think about me, <laughs> you know? Vicky finally lent me your pencil. Deserved, but Jesus. <laughs> no paintball is spring. No! With 11 votes cast, 11. Come on, people. 11 votes. Seven votes is South Park. South Park. South Park wins. Five. South Park wins. Did you know you can make napalm out of common dish soap and cat food? What? Yep. Why would you say that? Hmm? Make himself dangerous. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. I'll check it out. Personally. Personally. Look in the... Is that... That's the driver, right? Yeah. I think that's... Oh, I just had there. a dream that I was a regular president. <laughs> what? This was fun. Maybe you can observe me having dinner next time you're in town. Hung twice for yes, once for no. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Huh. I hope they're happy. I think so. Hmm. All right, that was intro to political science. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, fairly accurate. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Between real politics and student politics. Yeah, just real politics in general. Like, 
the person who just doesn't care but just says things that people are like, yeah, whatever he said. But like that guy doesn't care at all. Sometimes they can just lie. Oh, yeah. People are still just like, yeah. It just turns into a me versus them, not a let's talk about the issues and which one's better for the issues. No, it's yeah. Just like, sure. I hate that guy more, so I'm voting for this person. It's like that one thing that was like, can you say like one nice thing about your yeah, the opponent? opponent? And I was like, I'm sure he's a nice guy, but I'd really like to talk about this. I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, good upbringing, which is why I don't understand how he fell so far from the tree. You know, it's like, Jesus. yeah. What are you talking about? Why? Can't you just say good guy, nice guy, I don't know anything? Shouldn't that also fall to his parents, not him? <laughs> yeah, he complimented. Like his parents were yeah. good parents. He was complimenting the parents, not the guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then saying that he was he disappointed up. in them. Right? Oh yeah, like when they wrote this episode, when Joe Biden was vice president, they're probably thinking, well, we can't get any worse. <laughs> yeah. And now we just have like crazy shit going on in mm-hmm. politics in America. I'm yeah. sure people watching this that aren't from America, they probably know anyway. It feels more like a reality show than just politics. It's what happens when you... Like, <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Motherfucker was on a reality show. I know. Yeah. I, <laughs> Melly and I have talked about it before, too, where it's like, I don't, I don't know what it was like before. Because I didn't pay attention to politics, and I wasn't there for a lot of it. Sure. But I'm like, was it always like this? <laughs> it couldn't have been. But it was not always like this. It just seems so ridiculous now. Maybe South Park can save us. No. no. They're in power now. No. <laughs> the most important part of the whole episode is who is the ass crack bandit and what do they do? Will that come back? What do they do? What do they do? Like, I understand, like, sometimes. Do you have you know, a theory? Do they no, s- I don't, because at first I'm like, well, look, you know, there's a certain, certain type of person that sometimes their ass crack shows, you know, but this is a bandit. This is person's doing it on purpose to negatively affect others. And so then somehow, are like, they escaping. Are they stealing stuff and you see their ass crack and that's all you see? I don't know. Is it that like whenever they, com- like, if I steal Calvin's shit, yeah. I reveal his ass crack? You know, know, like, you know, like the... The, when the pe- wet bandits. When they have a calling card, it's sure. because of what they leave at the scene of the crime, right? The wet bandits would flood the, the place that they stole. Maybe they're taking pictures with ass cracks. Did you ever see that? But that uh, was another guy. But yeah, was there was magic. a guy at a Magic the Gathering tournament, and he was he walking just around. Like, he would, like, pray in front yeah, of the ass cracks, because right. there were just so many ass cracks just out in the open, and he got banned. Got <laughs> banned? From the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's a bandit. Uh, I'm going to go with that. That's what the ass crack man yeah. does. Yeah. Hmm. Man, that classic wingers, ad mentions, and notches joke got me, man. <laughs> That was the best part of the episode. And I, it just it's follows like a, their, it's like their Aaron personality said. so well. Oh, yeah, too. it does. But it's like right. what Aaron said. Like, it's rule of threes. You show the second one, there's going to be another one. I just, what's it going to be? What's it going to be for? And, and then like, he, I know it's going to be good, but Brita's, I don't know what it is. When Britta said her thing, I'm like, oh, is it going to be a, like, times Britta did this or, mm-hmm. you know, whatever it was and notches. <laughs> like, all right. Who was Chevy Chase talking about in the beginning? For what? About they're having a little dick. Oh, um... Say Tom? Tom Sizemore. I'm like, who's Tom Sizemore? They were, I don't know who that is. He was at a, they were at a uh, rehab. Yeah, but they were talking about celebrity dicks. rehabs. Yeah, celebrity Like, who's Tom, Tom Sizemore? Sizemore? It sounds vaguely familiar. I was trying to figure out who it was. Known for his supporting roles in films such as Born on the Fourth of July, Harley Davidson, and The Marlboro Man, Passenger 57. I don't recognize this guy for me. Apparently, he's in Saving Private Ryan. He's in Black Hawk Down. He was in Bullet Train Down. Bullet train down? Bullet train down. Is this before or after? The world's fastest bullet train is rigged with a bomb that will explode if it dips below 200 miles per hour. So it's just speed. It's just, it's yeah. just a ripoff. <laughs> <laughs> He's like the main character of that. But yeah, it's speed, gotcha. but on a train. Right. What's Vamp Father? That's Danny Trejo, isn't it? Yeah. That's what it looks like, that cover art. Reeling from family tragedy, a beautiful vampire who dreams of becoming human must unmask a deranged killer before the blame falls on her. Starring Danny Trejo as Vamp Father. Vamp Father. It's ridiculous. I wonder if you can awesome. get that on bootleg, like Last Airbender. Now, are we talking about the series or the movie? The movie. It was a movie. Damn. It was a single disc. That is something that requires government attention. Yeah. Well, that's why he was like, where were you a week ago? Damn. Because he already watched it. Yeah. He stopped it. Could have done something. Did we know Andy's <gasps> last name was Edison? <gasps> I don't think Stop I it, Calvin! No! <laughs> <laughs> Andy's what? Last name was Edison? I don't remember that. We've heard her last name I think before. So. I just thought it was funny that they but, put her face in the light bulb for yeah. Edison. Like, oh, okay. Did you guys ever do any like student government or anything? Calvin. 
I'm assuming that you did, and you won by default? Yeah, I ran out of post. Mm. Aaron? I don't remember, like, a student body, like, government thing. I think we had a class president in high school, but yeah. I don't remember anything about it. Gotcha. I did you have, like, a treasurer I was in, and... I was in other things, but I don't remember anything about that. I did it sophomore year, and then I had the opportunity to do it again senior year. But senior year, you don't want to get stuck on senior year because then you are left for the rest of your life organizing reunions. Uh, <laughs> and I'm like, well, I'm not fucking yeah, doing that. No, don't do that. It does <laughs> so, not sound fun. I did like FFA <laughs> instead. <laughs> if you were there to organize reunions, then at least maybe you'd have reunions. I don't, oh. think, I don't think we've had reunions for our school. Really? We had one, which would have been our, what, five year? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, yeah. Because it was when me and Melanie were getting married. It was, like, mm. the same day, so we couldn't go to it. Gotcha. And I don't remember them ever doing another one since. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I it's because them. nobody showed up. They're like, well, let's not do this again. The last one that maybe. we had, I think it was 10-year, maybe? I don't know, but it didn't sound fun. I didn't go. <laughs> it was just like a shed in the middle of the woods where they're having a bonfire. I'm like, no, thank you. I'm not going out to fucking Barlow or Beverly, wherever it was. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a good time. <laughs> Somewhere in Waterford. I think ours was a potluck at a picnic pavilion. Gotcha. Pot, I, ha- pot. I have some other things, but I, I need to wait and see if they come to fruition for anything or if it was all for not. Mm-hmm. So, I'm just waiting. Okay. For example, no more paintball. There's no and more paintball. Starburn's name is Alex. Yeah, we'll we we do, do that, that, I think. Yeah, we need yeah. that. Mm-hmm. So, till next time. Pop, pop, pop. pop. Damn it, Eric. I was out. <laughs> if you want to check out all the links down in the description, there's some really cool stuff down there, including full length where you can watch the entire episode along with us. It's on Netflix right now, so check that out. We also have early access over there, up to four episodes you can watch in advance above the YouTube release. What, you you have Pen Wolverine? Ah! Ah! Ah!